Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Coming at you with 1819 Panini Prism Basketball. This is a 20-box blaster case, and you get two random teams each. This is random team break number two. Big thanks to all of these folks for getting into the action. Remember, one spot gets you two teams, so let's uh, double up. Uh, uh. Like Sir Mix a lot. All 30 teams are in. Let's roll the dice. Let's randomize each list five and a one, six times. One, two, three, four, five, and a one, six times. After six times, we've got Lee all the way down to Michael Renderman. He's got a lot of spots in this one. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, everybody. Five and a one, six times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, and a one, six times. After six times, we've got the Milwaukee Bucks on top and the Portland Trailblazers on the bottom. Now, trades are allowed, so feel free to trade away. All right, so you can see on the screen right there, Bucks for Lee, Michael Gabai, Rockets, Lee, Hornets, Ron, Knicks, Jess, you got the Pelicans. Last spot mojo for Richard, uh, Raptors, Michael Gabai, you got the Pistons, Michael Renderman, Suns, Dennis, you got the Hawks, Lee with the Clippers, Mark with the Jazz and the Bulls, Michael with the Thunder, Dennis with the Pacers, uh, Wizards, Mavs. Cavs and Nuggets for uh, for Michael Renderman. You're a wizard, Michael. David O with the Warriors. Mark Glassman with the Heat. Jess Fox with the Kings. Ron Hollins with the Celtics. We were just talking, Jess, off camera about how like we should have bet on the Kings tonight. They're currently beating the uh, the Golden State Warriors right now. Hindsight, and we're like, then I was like, oh, then I'm that person that's all like, oh, I totally had those guys in my cart. Timberwolves for Richard, your other last spot mojo. David O, Nets, Michael Rindeman, Magic, Sixers, and Grizz, Lee with the Spurs, Mark with the Lakers, and Michael with the Trailblazers. Then I'm totally that guy, that person, who's just like, oh, I totally had the, the Sixers in my cart. You know, when like a big hit comes out. Totally had the Sixers in my cart. Dennis, I would check the checklist first before you make wild trades. Michael G will take Hawks from you, though. <laughs> Timberwolves and Raptors up for trade. Isn't Dennis a friend of yours, Michael G? Can you do him like that? I think they're friends, Rory. <laughs> there you go. He come, comes to his senses. Man. <laughs> no, Dennis finally came to his senses, Michael G. I was sitting here going, I was like, what? What is Dennis doing? What's Dennis doing? I, he's a sports guy. I think he knows who's on the Hawks. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. He's a big Rockets fan, so I, and that kind of makes sense then. Any trades? No, no one's going to trade. Well, it, it, TWC, trade window closed. We tried. We tried. Westbrook's pissed. What, what's going on? He, he's yelling at someone. He's yelling at uh, Hernan Gomez. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for filling this one up. This is our last blaster case, so appreciate that. We've got Absolute Basketball is in the store if you want to do some more hoops. There's everyone right there. Thank you, thank you, thank you for getting in. Richard Johansson, double last spot mojo. Blah, 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 blah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, a lot of pushing and shoving in this, the end of this Nuggets Thunder game. I had financial interest in the Nuggets. Looks like they're, like they're going to hold on and win. They're leading 107.98 with 35.7 seconds left in the fourth. But some pushing and shoving 
Maybe some technicals. Westbrook didn't like, what, Jamal Murray getting up on him? No one, in, no one in the NBA would throw a punch, though. Their hands are their lives. All right, so there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. It's second row right there. All right. Good luck, everyone. This break should only take, should probably take us to the top of the hour, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I know... I know people have been kind of thinking about that um, that Bowman Jumbo break. I'll tell you, folks, we got to fill that by the end of this break, pretty much, if we want to have a chance to do that to do that tonight. There's only three teams left: one big team, one not as big team, and one inexpensive team. So we need some. We need a few people to step up if you want to get that done tonight. All right. Good luck, everyone. You know what? I'm gonna open up a few, a few boxes here, to make myself a little extra room here. I make things go a little bit faster too, so we'll have time to try to fill that Bowman break. Um, all right. Ah, the Warriors have taken the lead now with 2.6 seconds left. Warriors 128. Kings 125. So, never mind. 129, 125 now. Looks like uh, free throws. So, I guess we dodged a bullet there. For a second there, I thought we should have taken the Kings tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Trailblazers beat the Raptors in Portland. 128 to 122. Damon Lillard with 25 points. This Nuggets wrap or this not Nuggets Raptors Nuggets Thunder game. I think they're still trying to figure out what's going on. No, they're gonna do the jump ball again. Nuggets ball, Thunder foul. Game's probably over at this point, unless something crazy happens. In Memphis today, the Heat beat the Grizz 100 to 97. Kelly Olnick, 18 points, five rebounds, five assists. Mike Conley's been playing some good basketball. He had 22, three and eight for the uh, for the Grizz. Grizz in general playing good basketball. They're 16 and 12, believe it or not. Nine and five at home. I think their first like five home games, they're like undefeated or something like that. We got the uh, Sixers falling to the Pacers in Philadelphia, which is odd. Sixers are usually pretty good at home. They're fourteen and three at home, but I think their last two their last two home losses were this week. Pacers beat the Sixers 113-101. Giannis going off for going off for forty four points, fourteen rebounds, and eight assists, and a one fourteen one zero two win over the Cavs. Uh, Brooklyn Nets beat the uh, Wizards at home, 125-118. Knicks in overtime. I had a little financial interest in the Knicks. Knicks in overtime beat the Hornets, 126-124. All right, now that I've... Opened some boxes, made myself some room. Oh, I think there's... Should, should we, I might as well give you the entire scoreboard. In the last game where, uh, was the Celtics-Hawks game. Celtics crushed the Hawks, 129-108. to But you know what the good news is? Your top performer for the Atlanta Hawks, Kevin Huter. 19 points, 2 rebounds, and 3 assists. He's a rookie. That's good. Hashtag good for the hobby. All right. These green parallels will set aside. 
That's Jeff Teague. And Tristan Thompson is your sensational swatches relic. And that will be for the Cavs. That'll be go to that'll go to Michael Rinderman. Kobe Silver. Silver Kobe. So it's one auto or memorabilia per box. So there's a hit per box. I think the autos usually fall maybe five five or six of them in the last full case that we did. Zach Levine, silver. And there's Devontae Graham, sensational swatches for the Hornets. Charlotte Hornets, who's got the Hornets? Lee does. And it's a final in it's a final in Denver. Nuggets win. I had a little bit of financial interest in the Denver Nuggets as well, so happy about that. 109.98 is your final. And it's a final in uh in Sacramento as well. Warriors beat the Kings 130 to 125. I wonder what the line was in that game. Maybe we should have taken the Kings plus points. I think they're like plus six. Hmm. There's Jerome Robinson for the Clippers. That goes to Lee and the Clip Show. Wilson Chandler. DeAnthony Melton for the Rockets. Silver. Rex loves it when we call him Big Papa. Should we also... Throw our hands in the air if we's a true player. I think maybe we should do that too. There's Kenneth Fareed, Brooklyn Nets relic for David O. Jacob Evans for the Warriors. These aren't numbered, but we'll set them aside. We got Delon Wright, Green, Raptors, Dino DNA. And we got Aaron Gordon, sensational swatches for the Orlando Magic, Michael Rinderman. Does anyone have, I was watching, the, I had an eye on the TV here. Does anyone have uh, an iRobot Roomba? If so, is it worth it? All right, let me open a few more boxes here. Good luck, boys and girls. Brent Culper, what up, Brent? Got two Roombas as he's, he's got robots working for him. He's like the the master of robots. He's got two Roombas. Is it? I'm assuming if you've got one and then got two, it's worth it. Do you have carpet or hardwood? I'd imagine if I had hardwood floor. I don't have hardwood floor. I've got, I've got carpet in my in my abode. Um, I suppose it could help there too. But I feel like I'd definitely get one if I had hardwood floors. It's always such a hassle. Never use a Roomba if you have a dog. You've heard the horror, what are the horror stories? I see. It's worth it if you can get your dog to ride it all day wearing a shark costume. You think the pug would, no, pug would not do that. The pug is so rambunctious. That guy right there. That guy can't stand still. He's always always wants to play. This and that. Runs every day. I have both hardwood and carpet. Ru cuts the dust and dog hair to a minimum. I like that. Hmm. If I could get if I could get the pug to to sit down for for a minute or two, J 
just enough for me to capture a good video. Well, that'd be great. Ah, I see. Well, that sounds like a that's like that sounds like the do a dog training problem, Rex. Not a uh, not a Roomba problem. Nice Colin Sexton Green. Rex is saying, well, the dog does some business on the floor. The Roomba catches it and causes a lot of trouble. But let's just train the dog not to not to do that indoors. Oh, boom. Pug knows how to ask to go out. Be taken out. There's uh, Alfred Payton for the Pelicans. That'll be for Jess Fox. Oh, I see. Old dogs and accidents. That's true. Maybe I'll have to rethink the Roomba when the Pug gets older. We've got the Admiral, David Robinson. Nice sensational swatch for the Spurs. Game war material. Nice. Brent says when he gets home and there are perfect vacuum lines in the car carpet, it's somewhat satisfying. Isn't it more satisfying if you do it yourself? When you do it yourself, it's more satisfying, isn't it? It's a nice one for Michael Rinderman in the Cavs. No, that's the... It's a, there you go. That's the right one. Absolutely not. No? Don't... Make the kids do it. Builds character. I remember when my dad made me mow the lawn with a hand mower. We had a decent sized yard too. Man, what a hassle. It was a glorious day when we finally got a gasoline powered one. Then my parents said screw it and got like landscapers. They got gardeners. <laughs> Kids left the house and they're like, nobody wanted to do it. <laughs> All right. I don't know how many boxes we have. We have that many boxes left. And plus, there's another row behind that. Oh, I did. I do too, Preston. We'll have more next week. We'll have more next week. Ha, I just saw a clip on ESPN where where the Sacramento Kings during like the opposing team's um, player intro they. They had a video on the Jumbotron in the center court, Jumbotron, of, 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 of the man walking on the moon. Of man walking on the moon. When Seth Curry was introduced, that's pretty good. Kudos. King's video guy. Jumbotron operator. Oh, I forgot... I forgot this person's name. Sorry, person, if you're listening, but there is a years ago. This this is like maybe two years ago. This person was interested in possibly he discovered us somehow. It was possibly interested in possibly working for us as like a, maybe a breaker or something like that. And he said he did the the video, the jumbotron for the, I think for maybe the Clippers or something like that. Yeah, it is a regular. We'll save. We'll set one of these aside. But if that was a silver one, that that's where the value would be there. All right, we got Nicola Batum. I was like, that sounds kind of cool, right? You have control. You have control of the crowd. You can tell them when to say defense. Save one of those Grayson Allens. 
And there's Nikola Jokic, who I think had a great game today. What did he do? Nikola Jokic, all he did, all he did tonight was 24 points, 15 rebounds, and nine assists. That's it. Gary Trent Jr. DeMar DeRozan. Oh, this Raptors jersey. This will go to the Spurs, though. It goes to the league. All right, next handful of boxes. Oh, was there was there a Doncic base? It's like twelve dollars. It's a ten dollar card. There was a Jokic. Doncic. Boom. There you go, Michael. We'll get that set aside so it gets sleeved up, sent out. There is no worries. Ten dollars, maybe ten, twelve bucks. I don't know. It's Prism's been out for a little bit. Those prices have been going down just a tiny bit, but I think Doncic has still been pretty strong. Did I just see Brewers re-sign Jimmy Nelson? That's not bad for three and a half million. I haven't checked MLBTradeRumors.com today. There's also HoopsRumors.com from, from, <laughs> from the makers of MLBTradeRumors.com. We bring you HoopsRumors.com. That's also good, too. I guess that, that deal where they were, the Rockets were trying to move Trevor Ariza hasn't really materialized. The Lakers were kind of whispered to be involved in that. Is Kawhi Leonard going to stay in Toronto? He's looking great, playing great. Looks like he's having a good time there. Offense seems to be working nicely around him. Frazier. I'm sorry, the, the Suns, right. There's uh, Dwayne Wade. Sensational swatches for the Miami Heat, Mark Glassman. But I think there was like... Or like a bunch of, I think there were like other teams involved. I think the Grizzlies were in there for a second. The Wizards were in there for grit. The Lakers were talked bandied about. A lot of people seem to think it was a done deal. Trey Young, emergent, green. And. 
Kenny Anderson. Look at that old Nets logo. Goes to David O. Giannis. Marvin Bagley. Laurie Markinen. Mitchell Robinson. Giannis's brother, Costas Antetokounmpo, and Steph's brother, Seth Curry. For the Trailblazers, that'll go to Michael Rinderman. And there's Lonnie Skywalker the fourth. All right, almost there, folks. Almost done. Good luck, everybody. I think we got about 10, 15 minutes left. grab two boxes at once. You see my Alex Smith hands there? Thought I could do it. I don't have an Alex Smith leg. My leg's fine. That was a knock on Alex Smith. You guys, if you guys remember, he had small hands. So, like, I guess in different weather conditions or whatever, he wouldn't be able to throw the ball as effectively or as deep or whatever. What horrible luck for the Redskins, right? Yeah. Poor Alex Smith. His leg gets shattered. I think there might have been like an infection. He had to get a second surgery or something like that. And then the very next week, very next week, Colt McCoy, Colt McCoy lo loses a leg. You know, you're stuck with, what, Mark Sanchez, and I, I don't know who else is beyond Mark Sanchez. I think Jordan Reed might be an emergency quarterback. Might as well just put Jordan Reed out there. That'd be fun. Jordan Reed healthy? Rest of the year, Jordan Reed. Just Wildcat. But who they put in there? They benched him for a second when they were down, like, 40 nothing in the third quarter. Yeah, poor, you know, Redskins must be cursed. Oh, Reed is hurt. He's always hurt. There's uh, Jermaine O'Neal. Sensational swatches for the Miami Heat. Another one for Boombox and the Heat. <laughs> he just punt, says Michael G. Nice Jerry West. Three out of 25. I think these are exclusive to the uh, to this retail ed or this blaster edition here. That's for Mark Glassman, little Laker Joe Mojo, old Jerry West, sixth all time at twenty seven points a game. See one of the one of the one of the best guards ever. You think he could play? He's one of those players that could play today, right? I guess especially today. NBA was a lot tougher back then. 
harder fouls, more much more of a physical game. So if Jerry West flourished back then, there's Rondé Hollis Jefferson. He's got a, he's got a he would crush now. Kevin Huter had a good game today. Man, DeMarcus Cousins is going to be healthy soon for the Warriors. Isn't that ridiculous? Some DeAndre A. We haven't seen a lot of him lately. Maybe in the last boxes there. Now, Oscar Robertson, best guard ever. Wes has got to be up there. I think Ro o Robert Oscar could play in this era too. You know, I don't know if it goes the other way though. Could Steph play... You know, could Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, can can they could they play back in like the sixties and seventies? Courtney Lee relic for the Knicks, Ron Holland's on the board. Saving those Jaron Jacksons. Kyrie Green. There's Larry Bird, Paul Pierce, Derek Favors for the Jazz. Goes to Mark Lassman. Danny Green and Brandon Ingram. Oh, okay, Ryan Ruff's got it cleared up for us. The Suns Wizards Grizzlies trade, he's saying, got stopped because uh, it didn't go through because of a player mix up. Oh, Suns thought they were getting Dylan Brooks, but they were <laughs> but they were but they were actually being offered Marshawn Brooks. Was that was was that the Grizzlies? Is that Memphis intentionally being sly? Or was it just like an honest, like clerical mistake? They forgot to add the initials. Or they're just, GMs are texting. They'll be like, well, how about Brooks? I go, okay, cool, Brooks. All right, okay, done deal, done deal. All right, cool. Confirmed? Confirmed. Check mark, right? All right, so, and there's like, just to confirm, Dylan Brooks. And it's like, whoa, 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 Dylan. D Dylan Brooks? I thought you were talking about Marshawn. It's like, no, it was Dylan the whole time. Didn't you? Oh, I didn't. Is that how it went down? I, I, thought, I thought you were talking about Marshawn Brooks the entire time. Oh no, we wanted Dylan Brooks. Oh, all the no. the Suns pick up Trevor Ariza? Why did the Suns pick up Trevor Ariza this offseason if they're already trying to trade him? Kind of a weird... I guess maybe they expected a hotter start because I think I think it's actually to, tomorrow or today is like the, the rule where if you sign someone in the summer you can't trade him until at like around this point of the season. So I guess they, I guess the Suns thought they'd be maybe in better shape at this point in the season. So now they're just trying to get something back. I get it. All righty. Last few boxes. Good luck, everybody. There's Jay Crowder. And our autograph is Zaza Chulia for the Detroit Pistons. That goes to Michael Gabai. Michael G with the Motor City. There you go.
Josh Hart, not a rookie. That's fake news. Gallinari, Cousins, Draymond, KCP, and we got a Kevin Love relic going to Rinderman and the Cavs. Jalen Brunson, Brandon Knight Silver. We'll save one of these Marvin Bagley's for you, Kings. Danny Green, Green, Danny Green. Pistol Pete. Larry Bird, nice. Sensational swatches. Game worn material. Little Oppo Joe Mojo for Ron Hollins and the Celtics. Man, my mom hated Larry Bird. She was just she didn't like the Celtics. She was a she she's a Lakers mom. And she was just like she didn't like the she didn't like the weird floor in Boston. It's Troy Brown Jr. for the Wizards. Silver. She didn't like how 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 scruffy looking the, the, the all those Celtics players looked. Showtime Lakers. Alright. Anyhow. Uh, I don't have anything to random, but that's it. Friday, December 14th, we knocked out a 20-box blaster break. Random Team 2 of 1819 Panini Prison Basketball. Some great stuff. Uh, check out the website for more, and we'll see you next time for more. Bye-bye.